We're off. What perfect timing, you beautiful beast, you. He's just sat up for the first time. Now, after much driving around and not being successful with the pride of lions that we had this morning, and with the help of one of our technical geniuses, Jared, he helped us find some lions that he passed earlier today. Well done, Jared, you champion. Isn't he a beautiful cat? Now, I wonder if this is not the same male we had the other day that was, well, not the other day, I say the other day, it was quite a few days ago. He was laying with the Angama pride. He could also, and I think we said he was a Kichwa Tembo male, but he could also be a triangle male. There's one of, he could be one of four. Let's see. I think I wrote names down for the triangle boys of sort of how to remember them. Maybe if I read it. Half-tail fang blondie and plus one I've got here for the triangle boys. Whether that or not that's their official name, I don't, I'm not 100% certain. So I don't know which one this is, if this is maybe plus one. Maybe he's fang. He's definitely not blondie though. And Craig, can we zoom in on his tail by any chance? Let's see if he's half-tail. I don't know, he's got most of it. Are you missing the top of your tail? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait till he gets up. But so anyways, he's a beautiful specimen nonetheless. And the Ngama Pride are not too far away. I saw a couple of the cubs just off into the distance, but we'll have to head to the other side of the drainage line to reach them. Isn't that cool? Uh. Now, here's a question I'm not sure of. Uh, Cherie, you're wondering how are the prides and coalitions named? I'm not sure how they do it yet. I think it might just be area specific. Perhaps they have certain identifying features that they go with, but I'm not exactly sure on the naming process and who gets to name them. That'd be quite interesting to try and find out. Again, somebody that's been working in this area for quite some time, our friend Vincent, who seems to be having an absolutely fabulous time on the other car and uh, maybe he'll be able to shed some insight again it is nice to have um, someone who knows quite a bit about the area and about the various animals because we can ask him 155 million questions um, that a lot of the other guys may be not able to answer so Vincent's fantastic for that I was picking his brain all morning as well so yes so we'll have to just ask him I don't know if it's the same way that we name lions in the sabi sand Hmm. Now here's a, I just added a scarf to my outfit also now while we're watching the line. Didn't do it very well though. Oh my, that's why ponytail so stuck in at my scarf. I'm Joe. Hmm. This is, like I said, this one's making me dig. You're wondering what has been my favorite part of the Mara so far? Hmm everything i don't know it, it's really hard to just pick one thing i mean yesterday i had an absolute blast driving around trying to avoid rain never did i ever think i would be able to literally drive straight down the middle of the road with pouring rain on either side and then sit and wait wait for it to cross over and then go back to that area that was really exciting uh, of course the serval hyena sighting was a huge highlight for me even just learning and growing with the sausage tree pride that's pretty fantastic too i've really been enjoying that uh, i love everything about it from the scenery to the beautiful escarpment you should have seen the sunrise this morning oh my goodness it was an electric sunrise and hopefully we'll get another one like that uh, even on, even the wind a bit of everything oh yes alice is just reminding me the moon last night as i was walking back down to my tent after dinner i quickly shouted to the ladies in final control and sorry for every if i woke anybody up my voice may have been booming across the valley going get outside look at the moon it was so 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 beautiful as well uh, it's a pity that we missed the full moon of course uh, due to cloud cover this seems to happen on a regular basis but other than that it uh, just Absolutely everything about the Mara is my favorite. Oh, guess what? I saw my first superb starlings too, by the way. That was on our way home today. I got quite excited. That was quite nice, but it was looking up in the sun, so we need to have a decent sighting of that. Now, the rest of the pride, you might be able to see there's a car 12 o'clock straight ahead of us. That's where the other lions are laying. They're sort of all spread out within that vicinity. There were some actually just on behind that log, but we won't be able to see them. Some of them were on termite mounds, but they're on this side of the lugger, the side that we're on, but they're best viewed from the road that runs parallel to that. So we'll get there eventually. And there's buffalo making their way there too.